Are you ready, guys, to play another edition of I Know the Knicks? We have three categories full of well new, <laughs> brand new answers on the board. Uh, the three categories range in different segments of Knicks history that happened while I've been on this earth. First, we have the 2021 season, the special season in which the Knicks won 41 games and with a four seed. And we will ignore what happened against the Hawks in the playoffs. The next is post decision, which happened on January 8th, 2012, 2010. Uh, where LeBron took his talents down to South Beach to join the Miami Heat in a moment that a lot of us thought we had a chance at, but did not even close to have a chance at in hindsight. Um, the next category is post-Claudio. So since I was born in 1988, uh, all of the things that have happened in Knicks history since then, John, no, hold on, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy won. reigning you champion. The, you, should get the you get to choose which category we go to first. Let's, let's just go with the recent history of 2021. Okay, recent history of 2021. Last season, the Knicks won 41 games. There were 12 teams in which they defeated by at least 15 points. Jeremy. Hold on, can I hear that question again? I'm sorry. Last season, the New York Knicks won 41 games. The first time they've won over 40 games since the 2013 season. Okay. Jeremy, you get to go first. The Knicks in 12 of those games, 12 of those wins, won by at least 15 points. Actually, let me rephrase that because it technically is 15 times that it happened, but three different times they did it to two teams. So, so there's 12, 12 teams, teams they beat by more by than at least 15, 15 points. points. Okay. 15 or more. So it's 12 not franchises. just franchises. Yes, 12 Got franchises. It. Yes. Okay. So Jeremy, go first. Uh, Celtics. The Celtics, they beat them by 30, 105 mm -hmm. to 75. Uh, the Bucks. No. Wait, John in the beginning of it goes back and forth. Um, they didn't thought, beat. Are you yeah. saying they didn't no, beat the Bucks by they 15 did, points? They did, but Jeremy uh, yeah, went right. you well, to the Celtics. Now it's yeah. your turn. So say the Bucks. The Bucks. There. I forgot how the. You know. You know what it was. I forgot to I, say I, that. And I, I thought I it was beat the same John way. so badly same last way. week that I was accustomed yeah. to just Fuck rattling so. off. Everybody names. go fuck themselves. And <laughs> Jeez, John. That's how it works. <laughs> Um, okay. That's so actually now, better than John telling me that he hopes I go bald by 30 because I built a better <laughs> draft team than oh, he did. Oh shit. But, there you um, go. He's winning right now our poll on Patreon. For those who don't know, John, J John, Chris, and I drafted an all 2010s team. And the the lead the teams are up on Patreon. If you'd like to go watch the team and vote on who wins, watch the draft, I should say, and vote on who wins. And on the Patreon.com backslash Nick's Film School. Uh, John, your answer was the Bucks because Jeremy said sure. it already. Jeremy, you get to go again. Pistons. They beat the Pistons twice by 15, 109 to 90 and 125 to 81. The second game, Tibbs had Julius Randle in the game up by 35. Uh, the Washington Wizards. Wizards. They beat them twice by 15 points. 109 to 91 and then 131 to 113. Correct. All right. There are eight more teams. Yes. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. The, the Cavs. Cavaliers. They beat 102 to 81 at one point in the season. Correct. Uh, the Rockets of Houston. The Rockets of Houston, they beat twice by at least 15 points. In fact, they're the only team they beat twice by 20 points, 121 oh, to 99 wow. and 122 to 97. Okay. Jeremy. Okay. So we've listed, you want to list all the teams that we've listed? Yep. The Bucks, the Celtics, the Cavaliers, the Pistons, the Rockets, and the Wizards. Okay. You've listed half of them so far. Yes. Yes. Um, I know they lost the first game. I'm trying to think of the second game. Again, one strike and you're out. That's why I'm trying to be as cautious. I know. As I'm here. filling time, Jeremy. No, it's that's okay. great. Oh, he, he could, listen, listen, Jeremy, he deserves, he was, he's the defending champ. Go ahead. Take your he time. Deserves, he deserves all, all the time <laughs> that he needs. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, this is at you. least 15 you, points <clears throat> that the Knicks oh, won by last season. Yeah. Um, 2021 season. That would be the season. This oh, season. All right. Uh, the Hawks. Incorrect. The Knicks Damn. did not beat the Hawks. They I won one of those games. two games close, and then the last game they won by 10 in overtime. Uh, so so now it's out. my John, turn to name steal. as many as you want to try and capitalize. You're both tied at three so far. 
Okay. There's six remaining teams. The Knicks defeated by 15 points last season. Uh, Orlando. Incorrect. The Knicks <laughs> did not beat the Magic by 15 points last year. In fact, let me, if you want to Google that real quick, just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure that they didn't beat the Magic by 15 points. Uh, John's so mad he wanted to steal. No, nah, I mean, listen, I'm, I, it was a, that was a, this is a good question. Um, I had two other names, two other teams written down, but I went with the, the Magic. And even though I didn't have a clear recollection of them beating that team by that many points, I was just like, they had to have beaten the Magic by more than 15 points. But if you tell me they didn't, they didn't. I'm going to double check because I know they, they beat the Magic once and then lost them. No, okay, they definitely didn't because one of those games was stupid close. And then one of those games was they won, but it wasn't as convincing. Um, they beat the Bulls 113 to 94. It was the first game after the Suns game that ended the winning streak. Okay. Um, they beat the Warriors on the road 119 to 104. That's when we started to think, huh, something's happening here. Okay. John, I'm surprised last week you were eliminated in this round because you mentioned the Lakers, a team that they beat once. By 15 points, 111 to 96 when they were missing LeBron and Anthony Davis. Okay. Uh, RJ Barrett's first career 30 point game came in Oklahoma City, a game the Knicks won. That was the low hanging. That was the low hanging fruit. That was the one where I was like, oh, they lost the first, but they won the second. Mm -hmm. Couldn't remember that part. Um, When Frank was reinserted back into the lineup, the Knicks beat the Kings 140 to 121 Uh, at the Garden. I remember that game. And then I think you had a christening or you missed the post. The Raptors, the Raptors, Raptors. 120 to that was three. So I had two other names, two other teams written down Raptors and Warriors in addition to the magic. And of course, I said the fucking magic. So bad job by me. That's OK. Um, I may edit this part out, but I'm going to just triple check about the magic. I'm listen. I believe you. I I certainly. They am. beat the Magic ninety one eighty four and ninety four ninety three. Okay, there you go. There we go. I will leave this part in, folks. You got to see the unedited version <laughs> of this episode. Okay, John, you now get to decide: post decision or post audio. Uh, post decision. Post decision in the. So last wait, did anybody get any points there? Three to three. You guys tied. Okay. Yes. So in the last ten ish years since uh, July eighth of two thousand and ten. 11 Knicks have scored 35 points in a game. That is embarrassing. (laughs) 11 Knicks have scored 35 points in a game. That's it. Been a rough decade. John, you get to go first. Uh, Randall. Julius Randall has done it six times in the last decade. Jeremy. Carmelo Anthony. Stay on brand, John. Carmelo Anthony did it 50 times this decade. Did he really? Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. What do you know? It's since I, but, the, sorry. It's since the decision we're talking since about. Since the decision, yes. Carmelo Anthony did it fifty. Julius Randle did it six times. Now I will say, it's only been done by the Knicks franchise by all of these guys, all eleven of these guys total, eighty three times. So you've now taken up fifty six of them. Wow. Yeah. All right. So I go again. You get to go again. Um, Amari Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire did it nine times. Nine times? Yes, nine times. Nine mm-hmm. times. A bunch of them happened like in a row too during that winning streak that people thought was a reason why the Knicks should never trade anybody in 2010. It's 35 points, right? 35 points in a game, yes. Okay. Uh, Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin did it once against the Lakers, the mm-hmm. classic uh, moment of insanity. Uh, Jeremy Lin is correct. Jeremy. Is that 38 or 39 he scored? I think he did 38 as the score, yes. Thirty-five it's, points. You know, it's game. it's funny. I don't remember. I can't remember a specific game when he did it, but I I have to think at least once Porzingis did it. Or Porzingis did it five different times. Did he? Okay. Yes. In fact, I think his career high forty came against the Lakers. Also, during that first oh, yeah. half okay. of twenty eighteen, yeah. mm-hmm. when they were Got it. sixteen and fourteen at the on Christmas Day. He, yeah. he had like a mini run where all he did was score 35. Jeremy, five. I'm in uncharted territory now because I there aren't names that just easily come to my mind. I will say, so no hints, but you guys have named the four guys that have done it the most. Carmelo Anthony, Kristaps Porzingis, Julius Randle, and Amari Stoudemire. Mel did it 50, Amari nine, Randle six, and Porzingis five. 
All right. So I feel like it had to have happened at least once. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith did it three times, all during the 2013, 12, 13 season where he was the sixth man of the year. I, I would not have, I, I, and he's, and he's right here, folks. He's right behind on John's brand new decorated background for those enjoying it on, uh, on youtube.com. Again, 35 points in a game since July 8th, 2010. Right now, the score. Get, it, go ahead, John. Sorry, go ahead. No, I, I I'm I'm filibustering here. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a there's a name. There's an again. I don't. I I. If you're asking me if I remember a specific instance of this happening, I don't. But this, I mean, he was on the team for so many. I mean, it would have been the second time around. Though, all right, I'm going to say it. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Did it four times. <sighs> yes. You guys have now named everybody that's done it at least three times. So everybody else has done it two, one or two times. Yes. There are four players left. You guys have listed seven. John right now is winning the actual game seven to six. Jeremy, now we get into the impressive if you know category. I don't feel good about this answer, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking about the lack of scoring that has been available, lack of creation as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it happened last year, but maybe in 2016, I'll say Derek Rose. Incorrect. No. Derek Rose did not Didn't get 30 it. in a game. I knew that. 35 in a game, excuse me. So Jeremy's out. John, you have four names remaining. Let's see if you can get one of them. But you're currently so- winning the game. Okay. Um, yeah, this is 35 points in a game. Right. So hold on. <laughs> Are we putting a time limit on John? No, no. Like a no. minute time limit for the sake of I mean, of at listeners? a certain point, I'll say I need an answer, but he's he's got time. He's 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 winning. So yeah, this the, is 35 <clears> points in a game since the decision. I'm I'm so what I'm doing right now is I'm wondering. If there was someone else on last year's team besides Julius Randle who did it, and I know RJ Barrett didn't do it, mm-hmm. um, and I, I really don't think, no, no one else did. Who else? Who else would have done it? Nobody else did it. So it's not anybody on last year's team. I have four names written down. There's mm-hmm. four players left. There are four players left. One of them I'm almost certain did not but I wrote down Courtney Lee because I just, um, I wrote it down. The other three names, I think there's a chance that each of these guys did it. And that's Ines Cantor, Marcus Morris, and Michael Beasley. Whoa, 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 whoa. T- time out. You got to pick one, buddy. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just, said a name I'm just, I'm just saying. Name, and there's a possibility that none of them did. I'd be shocked if none of those guys did it. I think probably two of the three did it. And I think there's a possibility that three of the three did it. Need an answer. Um, I'm going to go with Morris. Marcus Morris did it twice. Awesome. Okay. There you go. Marcus Morris did it twice during the season before. He was during the half season. He was here. For the pick <laughs> that became Emmanuel quickly. Um, but John now has eight points. It's eight to six lead. You have three remaining answers. All did it one time. I'm going to go with Cantor. Incorrect. Didn't do it. Never did it. Um, Aaron okay. Aflalo did. He was the, I swear to God, his name just, I swear <laughs> I thought, on my yeah. children, because I'm thinking of their big free agent signings. And I'm uh-huh. like, well, I know Robin Lopez never did it. And Aflalo did it. I was like, Kyle Quinn didn't do it. Aflalo? No. Okay. Aflalo did it. When I was doing the research for this and I was thinking of different parameters on, on stat head, when I did 20, 20, 20 and 20. Well, like Canner, we points. know did that on Christmas. Canner did that like a ton of times. So and it was and like, other, other times. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, never okay. did it. Never 35 points in a game. Okay. Um, infamously, Trey Burke did it once. Oh, my God. He had 42 fucking games? points against Charlotte. 42 oh, and 12. Charlotte, yeah. <laughs> oh. And then last but not Can least. Can I throw Rick, out? Did you say? Did you say uh, I haven't said it yet. Go ahead. Who do you think? 
Moutier had 30. I don't think he had 35. He did not. Okay. It was Bano it was a, Udre. It was a point guard, not Bano Udre, though. <laughs> Wait, it was a point guard? It was a point guard that did it. I was shocked at this one. During Hold on. Give me, give me like a half a 35 points. 35 points, yes. Did it during the... I, I I don't have the game written down, but he did it during the mellow. Felton era. never did it. Raymond Felton did it once. Wow. Yes. Wow. Again, this was one time he had 35 points in a game. John, you are winning though. The game eight to six at the moment. I'm mad I didn't say a flower. So Jeremy, in our last category, post me. And fucking Burke. My God, how did I forget Burke? Sorry. The Trey Burke one, I think, because it was funny when Randall scored 40 in a game last year. And all of the national podcasts were like, do you know who the last person to score a 40 in a game for the next? It was an was? overtime game yeah. that they lost. It was an over yes. Um, was- I remember that game. It was it's that was arguably the most memorable memorable game from that season. And I and I believe Kemba went for 50 that game. Might have. The point of what I'm, I'm trying to say up. is like the fact that national podcasts were like specifically KOC and Verno. We're like, if you know who the last person to score 40 for the Knicks is, then you have too much time on your, you you need to stop watching this because you pay attention to them way too much. And every Knicks fan was like, yeah, Trey Burke, it was an overtime. He had 42 and 12. And we thought maybe that's a thing. Um, last but not least, the post Claudio era. This is an easy one for you guys. Or at least I think it'll be an easy one for you guys. Maybe less so for you, Jeremy, but it's, okay. we, we'll see what happens. Um, the Knicks have had 18 head coaches or interim head coaches since the 89, since the 88, 89 season. Can you name all of them? Jeremy, you get to go first. 18 since the 88, 89 season. Yes. Okay. So in 33 years, they've had 18 interim yeah. or head coaches. All right. Tom Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau's one. Correct. Uh, Pat Riley. That's two. Correct. <laughs> David Fisdale. That's correct. Uh, Lenny Wilkins. Correct. Wow. John's getting the hard ones out the way. So he is. Mike D'Antoni. Correct. Um, uh, Woodson. Mike Woodson. That's correct. Uh, Mike Miller. Correct. Hold on. I'm, let me catch up. Jeremy said Tibbs and who? He said Tibbs, D'Antoni. Fizz, D'Antoni, Miller. Fizz, I said Dale. Riley, okay. Wilkins, Woody, and um, I'll say, do I, want, I should probably get a hard one or an easier one out of the way first. Um, I'll say Larry Brown. Larry Brown. Good one. Here for a year. Uh, Don Nelson. Don Nelson. Good job. Here for half a season. Um, saving him for 10th because he was the best one of the lot. Jeff Van Gundy. Jeff Van Gundy took over for Don Nelson after that half a season. Um, Herb Williams. <laughs> Rick called two different stints. Mm-hmm. As it's so head. funny. I had his, <laughs> I had his name uh, written down. Um, I was keeping the it. Next one. I was keeping it in the back of my mind because I thought, why go with a wild card <clears throat> early? Save it in my back pocket. So, um, uh, I'll do it now. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm just writing down my guess, my future guesses. Uh, Jeff Hornacek. That is correct. Derek 2016 Fisher. 2016 to 2018. Uh, Derek Fisher is correct. In 2014 to 2016. Hold on. Let me just make sure we're not missing any ones over the last several years. So we went Tibbs, Hornacek, Fisher. Jeremy Woody. doing this off the cuff. Yeah. I feel like I should get bonus points for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> or just like a problem because I mean, you, you could be doing the same. If you listen, wanted. I know I'm going to lose this because uh, I no, you might will, not. You might not. This I, is harder than what you I will, think. Well, no, because I have to catch up to you. But what I will gain is the people's respect and that's mm. all that I can ask for in the end. There you go. Um, Don Chaney. Don Ch- <laughs> Elite. Call, John. Yes, correct. There's one more obvious one. Uh um, had two, well, too, but it depends. Depends on when you grew up. <laughs> no, there's. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> no, I know. Um, I'm trying to think of. Uh, oh, uh, Kurt Rambis. Correct. There you go. Isaiah Thomas. Correct. Wow. So there's two left. Now these are these are the tough. I'm, I may get these wrong. God Almighty. 
<laughs> this is going to be a tougher one for me because mm-hmm. I know that they were coaches probably before I was born. Yes, they were. Yeah. Both of the remaining coaches are coaches from before you were born. Um, man. Yeah. I, I know I'm not going to get it. I mean, there's two Say any famous name. coaches. Two famous coaches. Nah, there's only in Nick's history. No, I mean, there's in in the eighties. There are two famous. Oh co- so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Pat Riley took over, I believe, in the night. In the, wait, hold on. Pat Riley was there for four years, so ninety five, ninety four, ninety three, ninety two. So Pat Riley took over in nineteen ninety one. Yes. Um, it's. I mean, so these are all eighties Jeff- coaches, but two. This of is them a are hint famous. to both of you, but um, the two. Well, hold, remain- on, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 hold on. It's Jeremy's turn. Um, 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 okay, words. Never mind. How many more coaches are there? Two. Two. More? Okay. You guys the funny thing is, John, John is going to win this anyway, yet he won't even let me you go need, out. He knows both of them. So, of them. no, I, I have three names written down. I'm not sure which are the two. Well, okay. I have no names no in names my head. So, <laughs> all right, Jeremy, name anybody that you think could have been a Knicks coach, unless you're tapping out. Um, I'd rather go down fighting than tap out. At this okay. Point. But I, I just, um, so one oh, of them is still I, got, okay, I, I got, I got, I got, okay. Uh, oh, Probably not actually going to love this one, but Rick Pitino. Rick Pitino is okay. correct. There, there you go, go Jeremy. John, so you, you name the last name. Uh, so you took away one of the names that was written down for me. So the last two names I have, and I, God, I hope I got the first name right. Um, uh, I, hold on, hold on. Let me set the stage right now. Jeremy is trailing by one. So if you get this, it's for the game. However, if, you if miss I don't, this, we're tied. Jeremy has a chance to. Jeremy's trailing by oh, one. Oh, because he can still Jeremy can name. steal. Oh, so then I should the game for the so round. So then I shouldn't name both names because you that are on my can mind. Name whoever you want, but then no, you because give me it, one answer. Jeremy, that you. So this is get, so this, this is for the win because John. there is. If Jeremy is, is it really doesn't have the other name in his head, I don't have the other name. But he could take because, a while. Okay, right? so let me just. The, the two, I have two names written down. One of them is a name that every is a is a well known basketball name that I don't know, I'm not going to say anything else. The other is is not. Well, no, he's not. Um, I think it's the less well known name, but I'm I'm thinking of saying the more well known one because at the very least that'll get me a tie. I'll, t- but, I'll tell you what. Say the less well known name because if if it's impressive, it's great, and if it's not, then so the, okay, fine. I'll say it. Is it Stu Jackson? It's Stu Jackson. Okay, John Maybe. wins this. What can I guess? So, what the can I guess? What the more famous name was? Sure. Was it Hubie Brown? Yes. Hubie Brown was the coach fired right before Rick Pitino. Wait. Or replaced right Oh, that's Patino. right. It was Patino and then Jackson yes. and not Jackson and then Patino. That's right. Yes. All I'm reading into this is it's actually Andrew's parents' fault for not <laughs> creating Andrew <laughs> a few years earlier. So I could have said Hubie Brown, but. Oh, whatever. shoot. Okay. Uh, John, bonus points. This is one I missed, but there's no chance Jeremy knows who it is. This is one I missed. This is the guy who replaced Stu Jackson? No idea. Jack, uh, John McLeod. No, I've six one thirty. John McClock's walk in my living room right now, and I wouldn't know who he is. I had no idea who he was, but apparently, when Stu Jackson was replaced as Knicks head coach in the 1990 91 season, John McLeod took over as an, in an interim basis. The Knicks lost in the first round. Enter Pat Riley. So, the better question is I, I know um, Red Holzman came back. I th- was that in the 80s? I think he came yeah. back for a brief stint in the 80s, right? Yes, from 1979 to the 82 season. So 81, 82 season. So for three seasons from 79 to 82. Okay. And then and Hubie Brown coached a team for five years. And Willis Reed was the coach for a brief period of time right, in the 70s? Right before Holtzman, right? Uh, Willis Reed coached the team for two years and then started six, well, not even one year, went 43 and 39, lost in the semis. And then the Holtzman came back. Holzman came back, thinks went 25 and 43 and coached the team for the next three seasons. And then did Reed take over for Holzman? No, Hubie Brown took over for Holzman. No, I mean the first time. Did Reed take over for Holzman? Yes. Yes. Holzman so coached the team from 68 to 77. Reed took and, over and, for two a year and a half. And if you put a gun to my head, I couldn't tell you who was the coach in 19. We even uh, mentioned him a couple of times in this game before. Oh, you know, we haven't mentioned him in this game, but we have mentioned him in is the draft, the the Knicks draft that we had right before the NBA draft. I, I don't know. Who was it? Dick McGuire. 
Oh, oh. Dick McGuire was the head coach. And then Har- Harvey Gallatin, Harry Gallatin. Harry Gallatin. Yes. And then names I don't know. But that is your trip down memory lane of I know the Knicks. Congratulations, Sean, on your victory today. 